Gotta hand it to Futurama. They've been canceled, renewed, canceled, renewed, canceled, renewed so many times. I've lost count. <laughs> Okay, I didn't really lose count. It was only a couple times. But um, Futurama is back on Hulu. And it's kind of exciting, I thought, because the original cast is back. Took a little bit for John DiMaggio to get there, because apparently Hulu didn't want to give him the money he wanted. And they were going to recast him. And it's like, mm, it's not Bender without John DiMaggio. But thankfully, they worked it out. Di DiMaggio's back. Bender is here. And in typical Futurama fashion, it parodies real-world things and turns it like futuristic of sorts. We've got uh, parodies of streaming and binging TV shows, um, one of which is All My Circuits with the Return of the Great Calculon. Many, many characters return, which is great. And it, it mentions how All My Circuits was canceled three times, and the last one, last season, was ten years ago. And it's like, oh, hey... That's Futurama. There's a callback to Kif giving birth, and even the grand midwife makes her grand return. Um, uh, we're told that it takes 20 years for the kids to sprout legs, and it's actually been 20 years since that episode aired. And only three survive. Go figure. Out of hundreds uh, that he gave birth to, they mine Bitcoin, which is humorous, uh, there's a Dune parody where a bunch of worms find themselves inside Nibbler's uh, litter box. And it turns out it's the same worms that were once in Fry. Another great callback. There's also a parody of Amazon appropriately called Momazon. But um, I think some of the best episodes of this new season were when we got the origin of Robot Santa. And it turns out that it was actually Professor Farnsworth that made him evil by accident, but he made him evil. And uh, they go, and Bender and Zoidberg go back in time after having Dumpster Nog, which is both gross and hysterical. They kidnap him, they try to dispose of the body, and the whole thing is just hysterical. There's also a COVID episode where, we're, where we find out that there was 1,000 years of COVID, which at this point in real life, it kind of feels that way. And it evolves to the point where it's called Explovid-19, where the virus is now anger-based. And Leela gets sent to the Anger Dome. <laughs> and the way they go about it is hysterical, because you know they keep the, the Q-tip going up the nose for the test, but instead of just like collecting mucus, it, you got to shove it all the way up and get brain matter to properly test it. There's Gloom, a parody of Zoom, and Farnsworth and Wernstrom makes his triumphant return, and they're the ones that develop the two vaccines. And the other one I, that I think is great is Zap finally gets canceled because, you know, he's a misogynistic, sexist bully. And he's finally put on, like, administrative leave. And just the whole thing is great. Ultimately, is this new season of Futurama perfect? No. It's not. It's, it's hard to capture the magic, the lightning in a bottle that Matt Groening really had with the first couple seasons on Fox. But I do think this is a great continuance of the series. Um, the voice cast is amazing. Katie Segal, John DiMaggio, Billy West, uh, Lauren Tom, everyone back and doing great. The stories are hysterical. Some do fall flat like uh, the random episode toward the end of the season where they go to make a delivery to the space king and there's just random cuts to random stories where the team are toys for some reason and it's just it's t definitely a filler episode and it kind of like kills the momentum but if you're a fan of futurama i think you will enjoy the new season and i guess we're getting another one or part two of this season whatever the hell they're actually going to call it, because production-wise, this is season 8, but broadcast-wise, this is season 11. It's like fucking Beavis and Budden on Paramount+. Plus. You know, different places, uh, websites call it different seasons. But again, if you're a fan, I do recommend it. You can binge all the episodes now of Part 1 or Season 8 or Season 11, whatever the hell you want to call it, right now on Hulu. I give Futurama, the new season on Hulu, 
I'm going to give it a B. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.